Hey guys, it's Adrian from AdrianCGMask.com and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to apply edgeware to decals or to custom surface details. Alright, now we have two different methods for applying the edgeware. The first method is very easy, very fast, but it's destructive. Alright, for the first one I'm gonna apply I'm gonna add a layer. I'm gonna scroll all the way down, put the height value to like 0.2, only uh, select the height. I'm gonna go to alphas. I'm gonna drag and drop one of these alphas in here. I'm gonna paint this alpha onto a model. All right. I'm gonna select our layer, right click, and select add filter I'm gonna scroll all the way down and select this filter matte effects detail edgeware all right now nothing will happen because we have to change the input mode from normal to height now we have our edgeware nice now here we can tweak and change the setting. I can go to material, PBR, metallic roughness and change the color. Alright. As I mentioned before, this method is destructive because we don't have any control over the height information. For example, I want to have a negative value but I have to remove this information in here and go to the paint and paint it again. Alright, so this method is destructive, but it can work for a small few details here and there, but it's very chaotic and does not work for a big large model like this one. I don't recommend using this method at all. Alright, let's delete this layer. Now let's go for the second method. Let's add a folder. We call this folder details. Let's add a fill layer in here. Alright, drag it to our folder. Let's call it decals. Something like that. I'm gonna deselect any material except height. I'm gonna give a value like 0.2 to height. I'm gonna add a black mask. I'm gonna add a paint. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing that we did before. I'm gonna pick a drag and drop one of these alphas to our alpha in here. I'm gonna paint this information onto our model. All right, here as well. Let's add a couple more alpha in here. These are as well. Let's add this arrow in here as well. All right. After we're done with our adding details, I'm going to add an anchor point to my decal right here. I call the anchor points decals mask or decals. I'm going to add another folder called it edgeware all right I'm gonna add a fill layer drag it in edgeware call it edgeware as well now in here I'm gonna darken the color I'm gonna increase the metallic decrease the roughness now I'll leave everything at default I'm gonna go and right click add black mask and uh, I'm gonna add a generator to the black mask I'm gonna add a metal edge wear generator all right now we have our metal edge wear generator it will apply to our entire model but not to our decals at all so in order to apply it to our decals we have to scroll down micro details and set the micro height from false to true 
all right let's scroll all the way down to micro height and go to anchor point and select or anchor point decals now we have or edgeware on our decals very exciting all right but we have a uh, we have these issues we want to apply this edgeware only on our decals but not our entire model in order to do that i have to add a fill layer select on the grayscale and link it to decals anchor point all right i'm gonna change the the layer type from normal to multiply now this this edge were only applied to our decals very exciting beautiful now i can go back to a metal edge where i can change the setting in here with ease i can go back to our decals and add as much as decals i want very easy in here as well i can go back to our material and uh, decrease or increase the height value like give it zero negative value as well or positive very easy all right now for the surface details let's add a folder in here let's call it surface details i'm gonna add a black mask to it i'm gonna uh, go to polygon fill and select only this surface in here hold alt click on the mask go to polygon and go to polygon and select these faces in here all right i hit m on the keyboard and go back to material view now i'm gonna add a fill layer in here now i'm gonna deselect all the material except the height i'm gonna add a 0 0.2 value to the height i'm gonna add a black mask at the fill layer i'm gonna go to procedural now i'm gonna drag and drop one of these textures in here for example let's drag and drop this hexagon in here now go back and increase the uh, scale something like 20 rotate it a bit now after we satisfy with the results i'm gonna copy the edgeware copy and paste the edgeware in here all right i'm gonna go back to our uh, hexagon surface details i'm gonna add a another anchor point at the anchor point and i call it hexagon all right let's go back to our edgeware let's go inside the metal edgeware generator i'm going all the way back to our micro height i'm gonna change the micro height to hexagon all right wait to see the results all right but in order to uh see the result we have to remove this fill layer all right i remove it now we have this edge where but it will apply to our entire model in order to prevent this i have to go back to our surface details i'm gonna copy mask i'm gonna go to my edgeware at black mask and i'm gonna paste into mask all right now this effect this edgeware only apply on our surface details beautiful i can go back to our generator i can add another generator for example like a dirt like uh in here i'm gonna do the same thing to do what we done to our edgeware i'm gonna do the same thing here i'm gonna go to macro details set the macro height to true go all the way down macro height and select hexagon like tweak the dirt level in here 
very easy very exciting but as you can see here it's override the metal edge where i go to uh the type i change the normal type to linear dodge now uh, we have both our metal edge wear and our dirt on our surface details all right this was the end of this tutorial i hope you like it be sure to subscribe hit the thumbs up button and i see you guys next time take care